101. KRIL, Gulf City. All right, guys. Phil Gilmore here on BOP 101 KRIL. And that's going to do it for me this afternoon. A couple clouds out there. Shouldn't be a problem, though. So here's some silent partner for your drive home. Have a great day, Gulf City. DMT though? I, I was talking about Egypt. Did, did you know that Susides was so committed to it that his son Aminabo It's great with an elk steak, bro. Well, <sighs> that's just misinformation. I, I'm sorry, what is this show about? <sighs> Can you change it already? I can't listen to any more hunting advice. This is the part I wanted to see, Gasly. This guy says he knows about the whale. Again with the whale. How could you not want to hear about this stuff? Jerome, look at where we are. Does it feel like we were created by an act of God? What we need is an act of God. Yeah, well, great. Let me know when he comes up with one. Until then change it tropical storm that may become a hurricane and from the looks of it this shit could get rough so grab an extra case of water on your way home golfers and check to see if your insurance policy covers act of god what he just say what and you said no when i wanted to buy the elk steaks you been here, Mina? Three months? Just try it out. I don't know, Sherry. I didn't move to Gulf City to meet another man. Especially not a dead one. Oh, I don't mind letting you spooks drink at my place, but now you're talking about the living mixing with the guy what who is dead? It ain't right, boss. You bet your fried scamooch it ain't right, Johnny. Don't listen to this spectra shit, Mina. Gasly is a normal person. He's just dead. I don't know, Sherry. Gasly? I... I know that translucent piece of garbage. I guess he's all right, you know. For a sheep. What is he? One of the good ones? Fuck you, Lou. Sherry, I'm just not looking for a relationship right now. Oh, listen up, you mooks. You're not going to be talking to me like that while you're in my joint. You doilies ought to go back where you... <laughs> GCPD, and we got you this time, Angeletti. Oh, well, look what we got here, boys. <laughs> what do you want this time, McConnell? We heard you cannolis have been running an illegal poker game out of this here bar. <laughs> Don't be so upset, boys. If your gods wanted you to win, they'd have made you Vietnamese. No idea what you're talking about, guy. We're not doing any of the things what are illegal in here. Are you sure about that, sir? Of course. We got cameras all over. Bada bing. And I have the utmost respect for those what who enforces the law. In fact, have you met my bot in the meaner? Used to tin bar for the high rollers in Vegas. She's the best. Why don't I get you both a drink on the house? <laughs> no, <laughs> well, thank, thank you kindly, you, sir. Lady. Mina, set you these guys up, okay? I gotta find a way to hide this game. You're letting cops drink here now? I don't want to talk to any fucking hello officers. Welcome to Ezio's. What can I get you? Well, I'll take whatever you're willing to give me, little lady. Ugh, Mina, I'm going over to Jerome's. You should meet me there when you finish with whatever the fuck this is. Jerome, I'm not flying to Cairo. I don't care what you think you have to prove to me or to yourself. <laughs> Airport's in Cairo. The pyramids are actually in Giza. Yeah, yeah, well, don't, don't actually me, dude. Hang on, let me answer this. Yellow. Hey, baby. Hey, Sherry. What's oh, up? Christ, is she coming over? <laughs> I'm coming over. Ezio sucks. Is she a goose place? <laughs> tell her to tell him he owes me one. Is Gasly there with you, Jerome? Is your little boyfriend with Gasly? Tell him to tell him he owes me one. Why did I even answer this? Here. What? Gasly! Where's Jerome? Oh, now he's on the thing? Let me see that. Hey, G, what are you doing tonight at that haunted house of yours? Sharking off to your sister's OnlyFans, you meatball motherfucker. What do you care? Because the living gotta keep an eye on all you translucent pieces of garbage. Only until your fat ass breaks the opatriarchy that's holding you up, am I right? Mm. Am I right? 
<laughs> what do you want, Lou? I got a high dollar game going on up here, but the cops are snooping around. I need to get them out of here and move my game. And what does that have to do with me? You owe me money, Ghastly. Post the thing tonight, and I'll knock a little off of that with Joe's. What? Me. You want me to let a bunch of strangers into my house so that you can get paid? Hey, talk to Sherry now. Hey, I'll bring a few bottles and you'll get a slice. Uh, this isn't going to be like the calamari incident, is it? Put your pants on. I'm on my way. Yeah, all right. Hey! So what? Is Sherry coming over? How would I know? Are we having a hurricane party? TV is bullshit, Jerome. There's not going to be a hurricane. Yeah, boss, it's no problem. We had to close the joint for the day to get rid of the cops, but I found another spot. Fuck your poker game, Lou. The whole reason to keep that bar open tonight was to be able to stash the mayor if City Hall floods again. What can I do, Skim? The heat was inside, so either way, I got nowhere where to put the guy who was supposed to be hiding at the place. <laughs> Well, obviously, Lou, but that is not the point. <laughs> Yo, Lou, can I get some AC back here? I can smell Preston's neck. Uh, don't musk shame me, Cedric. Lucif, tell him to respect my space. Hey, boss, can we tie this table to the roof or something? I think my pancreas just collapsed. Then what is the point, primo? The point is this, Lou. I don't want that stupid armadillo skipping down during a storm. If he pooches the emergency services gig again, <laughs> the press will make a big deal about it. Stranded pets, drowned children, blah, blah, blah. But bad press for him is bad press for us. Pull it over somewhere, will ya? I gotta water the flowers. Gosh. Pretty sure they're going to get plenty of water, Rocky. When can I shoot this guy, boss? Will you two shut up already? Meanwhile, you've loaded up that pack of chatons from your bar just to make a few measly lira. What do you want I should do, Skip? I gotta earn, don't I? Hey, guys, I can't feel my legs. Can't any of you move your seat up? No! no. Sounds like you've made all the right decisions, Lou. I'll tell Eo to let us know if he decides to go on vacation. Just keep your phone on, you stupid. <sighs> Whatever you say, boss. Sir, you really have to hear this. I have heard you at least three times today, Rosa Maria. Well, you better listen to me again, Mayor Eo. This storm is going to be worse than we thought. Alex, are you listening to this? What's that? Oh, you're 100% right, Mayor Eo. Stay the course, sir. Golfers were not prepared for Gordon Ramsay, sir. You need to at least put a statement out on Chatter. Uh, just to let me know when you've written it, and I'll sign whatever basura you want. Now let us pour another round of margaritas. Azora Feliz. Sir, you've been drinking all day, and there's a public emergency out on your doorstep. You can have four more, but that's it. You heard her, boss. Uh, si, senor Tonero. Let us drink quickly. Oh, Rosa Maria is once again fixated on death. I'm fixated on keeping you in office, sir. Then why don't you do your job, Miss Ramekin? Okay. You can start by getting this man a drink. Get it yourself, Alex. You know that isn't my job. You've got no worries, amigo. First responders will handle whatever happens, and our generator still has a full tank. Orale. Then I decree we keep this party going. <laughs> Mayor Eo's office, this is Rosemary. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'll get him. Es primo cannoli. <laughs> Both of you, get out. Vete. Hola, Don Cannoli. It's official, golfers. Hurricane Harvey Keitel is now a Category 3 storm and picking up speed as it heads directly toward the Gulf City coastline. We may experience road closures and blackouts, so shelter in place wherever you are and stay tuned to GNN for up-to-the-minute coverage on the imminent doom of a populace that's done nothing more than happen to live in a specific time and place. And now a word from our sponsors. I don't care, Jerome. I'm not going to Egypt. I like places with air conditioning, thank you. You're gonna make some easy money tonight, Gasly. Why not parlay that into some plane tickets? And what am I gonna do when I get there? Pretend I believe in some ancient ghost religion that no one practices anymore? You know, for someone who died entangled, you sure well, do. Well, Gasly, she done it. She's taking me back to court. Oh, really? Who? The ex-wife. David, what are you doing here? Heard you guys are having a hurricane party today. What? Yeah, Sherry texted me. What? So when are you going back to court this time? <laughs> Hmm. 
in like two weeks. I'm fucked, G. Also, you're at a beer somehow. Somehow. How are you going to have a hurricane party without no beer? And how are we going to Egypt if we're having a hurricane party? Jesus, it's barely raining. She needs money so bad. Who's shelling out for the fucking lawyer? The whale would protect us from a hurricane anyway. Enough! Okay, look, guys, here's some cash. Go down to 7 plus 2 and get some more beer. What? I didn't even drink one of those beers. You can keep the change. Just go. I'm driving. Chicken. <sighs> you're the only one going with me. Will you two just go already? The stores are gonna close if the rain starts getting bad. Oh sure, throw a hurricane party. Let a bunch of idiots in the house. Stop using that stripper's Netflix account. It'll be fine. <laughs> what could go wrong? Your jackass friends definitely won't drink all your beer and then harangue you about international travel. It's this rain, guys. We take this and. Are you ghastly? Uh, I don't remember. Here. Huh? Oh! Hey, ghastly, we're here! Hey, Vishnu, we're here. Are you in there? We need beer. Looks like we're too late, David. Let's go back to the house before the rain gets any worse. That house without any beer in it? Why don't we just break into this fucking place and load up? Don't you want probation? There's no cops out. They're all busy blocking the roads. Wait, where'd you get that? Hmm? Wait, 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 wait. At least go around back and look for another way in before you get off the loneliest out here. Oh, what the hell is this? Customers! Wan Ying to Lu shoots! How many feet of bamboo do you want to honor your family with? Christ, they're French. What are you two doing back here? Don't you know there's a hurricane coming? We've got nowhere to go, brother. Zinda! Xing didn't sell enough bamboo to get a hotel room. Zinda! Wait, that's not how I'm not happy. You got any beer? Of course. We got a full keg tap right here in our bamboo cart slash apartment. Jinda, oh, we haven't sold any beers Jarell, either. let's bring these guys with us. That way I can keep the 20. Bring them to the house? We don't even know these guys, David. Hey, man, Gasly said to get beer. Store's closed. These guys have beer. So what do you want to do? Okay, but let's hurry. It's raining. <laughs> How are we gonna get the bamboo cart in the house anyway? Roll bear down on it, brothers! That's not the point, Phil. You work at the goddamn radio station. Well, I don't do the weather, Ghastly. I had no idea there was gonna be a hurricane until Sherry texted me. Well, either way, we're all stuck here for now. So drink. I don't know, Mina. TV said it was only a Category 4. I'm sure you'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> and you believe something the media said? All they care about is making sure you stay tuned through the next commercial. It's true. They're just pandering to the demographics they think are in front of the TV. In this case, scared people. It's the beauty of capitalism. So this is your place, huh? We got the beer! Hurricane or not, someone should call and complain about this. Karen, there's a hurricane right above our heads. Can you come away from the window, please? Yeah, Mom. Why are you always watching Gasly's house anyway? For your sake, Brayden. I don't want my perfect children to be corrupted by those filthy ghosts next door! They seem cool to me. What's wrong with ghosts? Brayden, listen to your mother. We've pulled you before. We don't want you hanging out next door with those translucent types. And I told you before that I don't need a cosigner, Henry! I'm your husband, Karen. And I, I don't need my children getting their heads filled with a load of supremacist propaganda by a bunch of dead people! Mommy, I'm scared. You should be scared, Bethany. Those colorless people are ruining our neighborhood. But I think she means the storm, dear. Don't matter! Explain to me, Henry! I know what she means. I have a bond with our daughters that no man could ever understand. I agree with you, Karen. By the way, kids, where's your older sister? I saw her a little while ago. She told me I was gonna die alone, and then she went upstairs. Every man must do two things alone. He must do his own believing, 
and his own dying. Rebecca, get your butt down here now! Becky, that little jab you took at your brother has your sister quoting Catholic Reformationists again! Get down here this instant! All right, guys and ghouls, let's keep this hurricane party going. I'm DJ Roman Delight, and Hurricane Harvey Keitel isn't going to take us down to Monster Joe's truck. Somebody please answer the fucking door! Oh, get it, brother. Hey, David, where did you say these bamboo guys came from again? How should I know? I can't understand a word they're saying. I'm not an amphibian. What? And who hired the DJ? Sherry texted me. Are you? Like, a mime or something? What are you? A clone or something? It's way too tall, though, Jerome. It can't be the front door. I have no idea, dude. The fuck does this have to do with our trip? You're not really going to Egypt, are you? You don't need to leave the country, Jerome. I've got everything I think you need right here. We should go. I want to see what that goddamn desert pussy's like. It's just sand here. Look, we've been through a half dozen hurricanes just like this one. By the time we sober up, it's over. And we're not going to Egypt. Ghosts don't follow our zemology anymore. Get over it. Get over it? Well, what if it's not? This is what I'm talking about. Flat up to mean his knees would carry me away. If worship can't lift us up, what do we even do? I can almost lift up this keg. We'll be out of beer soon, Gasly. You wouldn't lift the keg if it had its own legs. You bring shame upon her family, brother. You were the one who was bringing shame upon our family, brother. I'm not at peak performance because I need protein. Yeah, and I'm out of bamboo. Out of bamboo? Yo, Lou, we drank most of what we brought. Can one of these broads go on a beer run? What about this one right here? Becky, what the hell are you doing? You're too young to be over here, and I've told you that before. Or go home. I can't even begin to care, Gasly. Besides, my brother was over here a few days ago, and you didn't kick him out. That's because your brother is 10, and we watch cartoons. You're 17, and the last time you came over here, you gave David part of an illegal lap dance, and then you stole my weed. Everything's fine till you had to kick her out. Fucking status. This is the shit I'm talking about, and it can't happen here. Go home. <laughs> Ghastly, get the child out of here. Oh, this Gasly, is starting to get real. Ghastly, there's water coming hey, in the house. Hey, Jerry, we have the money trying to get stuck here. What do we do? Jesus. Hey, brother, you got any ancient forest lying around? I need to keep this pump. DJ Roman Delight still keeping it going tonight. Hey, Ghastly, I go into overtime in 15 minutes. What the hell is wrong with all of you? The worst of it is probably over. You can all go home soon, so just chill out. Everything is fine. Fox. <laughs> Category 5, sir, and over a third of the city is without power, Mayor Eo. We need to do something now. Oh, where we have tequila, but we are out of margarita mix. It doesn't matter what we do now, Rosemary. The Don just raised the rates on us again last month. I should have never let the cannolis buy the election. I am in a way over my shell, Rosa Maria. Well, then we need to get you out of here, Armando, and we need to come up with a plan. I leave City Hall? No. Primo said to get out the key, and he gave me a statement to give to the press. <laughs> I'm not willing to give up the mob teat just for your convictions. It's a hurricane, Rose. People are gonna lose power. People are going to drown, Alex. And there's nothing we can do for them until the rain stops. Even Reverend Holstein has closed his doors. Then we need to get out from under Don Connolly, Mayor Eo. Oh, is that right? You think you're gonna be the one to whack the Don? Don't say whack, Alex. You sound like a tool. And how do you propose we do that, Miss Ramekin? It's not like he's going to sign a waiver. Well, I've got a plan, but it's complicated. Alex, Pour us around. <laughs> you know that's not my job, Miss Ramekin. Maybe it should be Turner. Pour the drinks, bitch. Okay, man. Damn. Uh, let's hear your plan, uh, Miss Ramekin. This could take a while. Right now, a while is what we have. Oh, sure. Everything's going to be just fine. Storm's a bunch of media hype. The old patriarch's oppression of ghosts is what keeps me from getting a job. <sighs> You're unemployed too, Jerome. All the more reason to go to Egypt. What is it with you and this whale stuff? For the last time, we're not going to Cairo just because you feel oh, lonely. Come on, Gasly. Be serious for a second. I'm really in a crisis of faith here. Okay, uh, look, I'm sorry, man. I'm listening. I know I've been brushing you off the last couple days, but this hey, time... Hey, Gasly, Lou is making his last unlicensed alcohol sale. You want one more? Yeah, give me a double of whatever. Well, Below, is this what our religion has become? 
stuffing our faces with blue krill to see time as a spatial dimension while completely wasting our temporal experience? Mighty al Talazim, if you can hear me, please let this flood of your wisdom enlighten my friend so that I may get a free trip to Cairo. I need to learn why we were put here. If you're out there, please give us a sign! I didn't expect to be here for three days, you see-through son of a bitch. Oh, and I'm supposed to just ignore that your monster friend here is pissing in my fireplace while Rocco is asleep in my bed? Uh, don't put me in a box, Gersley. I'm more than just a monster. Hey, will you just keep it down down there? I'm trying to sleep through an hurricane up here. Hey, guys. This party is for mature audiences only! Go do your flimsy setups for exposition somewhere else! Yeah, bitch! Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right, get her gone! Hey, the water went down. Guys, wake up! I think it's over! Before you guys freak out, it's really not all that bad. Fuck yourself. And that's how the first three pharaohs of Egypt became what we now call the Tribunal. Al Hutelazim was not to be fucked with. Real be unto his name. I don't know why you still buy into this shit, Jerome. Ah, knock it off already. I'm tired of listening to all this stupid Frodo's Kamut about some whale. <laughs> yeah, get some extra gods already, yeah. It's not stupid. It's our religion and it's very serious. Still is the part about the dinosaurs with the wet feet again. I mean, why would he go through all that trouble just to leave us here to deal with them? Yeah, it was like he was acting like some kind of god or something. I don't know. A typical, you ghosts think you're so much better than the living. You monster! It's called evolution, Preston. You sheets aren't fitted for decent society. Well, maybe if a few people weren't criminals, I'd pay more attention. You peep! And maybe if the government would recognize our constitutional rights, there wouldn't be so many ghosts forced to turn to crime. Can we leave yet? Well, that's just an excuse so you can blame the living for your problems. <sighs> that's what they always do. That's right! And if it weren't for the opatriarchy's oppression of the spectral population, we wouldn't need to have this conversation. Guys, guys, guys! I know we're in a bad spot and tensions are high, but let's just take a step back and remember one thing. Preston, you're a monster. No one gives a shit what you think. Compatriots, prepare to fire! We get ready for a first class ticket to the resurrection, Gasly. We refuse to reconcile our surface level differences. Then we are sworn enemies over inconsequential subtleties, and it's high time you get out of my house on my mark! Storm the walls, everyone! We cannot abide one more day of opinions different from our own. Brother! It's like a in Mongolia! Jindu! Can't anyone stop this? We learn nothing, brother! Once again, Hurricane Harvey Keitel is finally over. The rain has stopped, floodwaters are receding, several areas of Gulf City have already regained power, and crews will be working around the clock to restore infrastructure and utilities to the rest of our citizens, under the watchful eye of Mayor Armando Io. But, in the interest of ratings based on outrage, this reporter has to wonder, why didn't the mayor stop this Category 5 hurricane from hitting us in the first place? Is it because of his ties to Cannoli Waste Management, a company that will benefit greatly from a hurricane cleanup? We can't say for sure if the mayor is responsible for all of your other problems too, but there is one thing we do know. Now is the time for golfers to come together, to help each other, and to reach out to their neighbor as we begin the rebuild of Gulf City and point the blame at Mayor EO together. He's right, you know. Yes, behold how easily we have torn ourselves in half. But now we need to come together. We need to deal with the bigger problems in front of us. That's right, Phil. It's time for us to do what's right for our city. Fuck Mario! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Vomitello! 
Finally, I thought those guys would never leave. Yeah, nice work, Mina. Looks like I was wrong about the storm, huh? I guess nothing brings people together like a common enemy. Yeah, but this just might be what the city needs to stop being so divided over every little thing. Does that mean you're gonna stop acting like ghosts or superior to the living? Get away from my house, Phil.